perfect. I could use some gas money. That confident? There's some things a man knows beyond doubt, my dear Watson. <laughs> Impressive. So, I suppose you knew that was gonna happen. Beyond any doubt, like I said. So what you're telling me is you're God. That's it, I'm God. Now grant me the five dollars you owe me, lest ye burn in hell. <laughs> but wouldn't that be unethical to give you five dollars after you already knew what was gonna happen? It's like going to a basketball game after already seeing it and betting on it. Okay, but I didn't know. I was just confident in my abilities. Well, Ooh, yeah. Of course you didn't know. Then, but maybe someone or something else did. Just give me my five bucks. Seriously. If there is a god, then he would know everything that has happened, and everything that will happen, right? Sure. Well, if it's possible for God to know everything we're gonna do, then everything we do is predetermined. We're not free at all. We're just following the path he sets for us. Okay, so yesterday it was God who got me so drunk I ate shit? Oh, baby, I like it, boy. Yeah, baby, I like it, boy. Baby, I like it, boy. Yeah, baby, I like it, boy. Shimmy, shimmy, y'all, shimmy, yeah, shimmy, yeah. Give me the mic so I can take her away. Off on the natural charge, bone for yard. Yeah, from the home of the Dodger Brooklyn squad. Who tank the love, he's on the score. Rain on your college ass, just so dumb. But you didn't even touch my skill. You gotta go to one kill of me, and he ain't gonna kill now. Chop that down, pass it all around. Lyrics get oh, hard, put you back to the ground. 40 MC and any 52 states, I get psycho. Killer, Norman Bates, my producer slam. My flow is like, bam, jump on stage, I'm in a dead dead. Ooh, baby, I like it, boy. Yeah, baby, I like it, boy. Ooh, baby, I like it, boy. Yeah, baby, I like it, boy. Ooh, baby, I like it, boy. Yeah, baby, I like it, boy. Ooh, baby, I like it, boy. Yeah, baby, I like it, boy. House, they got their shoes, keep the feet in the east, and they ain't all clowns. The ghost can be still far, they can rip. Well, we're all inside. Doesn't that make God an enormous asshole then? Now you're definitely not getting your five bucks. Come on, this is just goofy. Neither of us believe in God. He's getting between us. I know, I know. But I'm just trying to make a point here. What if we really don't have any control over our actions? I mean, I suppose you don't even need a God to make this point. All matter is subject to physical law, right? So, imagine a supercomputer that can analyze all the matter in the universe in relation to those laws. It would be able to predict everything that's going on and everything that's going to happen. On a macro scale, yes, but not on the human or the micro level. The human mind's an intangible entity. It's not subject to these physical natural laws. Plus, quantum mechanics says that on the subatomic level, nothing's certain. Predicting things is literally impossible. Okay, you got me with the quantum mechanics, but I'm not so sure if the mind's a separate, intangible entity. If it was, it would make sense that we're free on, on some level. But what is the mind but just a net result of billions of chemical reactions going on in your brain? Without those physical processes, all subject to physical law, I might add, there is no mind. Don't you know the whole is always greater than the sum of the parts? Dude, whatever. All I'm saying is that science and observable tangible fact seem to suggest that the self is an illusion and our existences are determined by physical law and causal relationships beyond our control. Yeah, but how can you say that? What do you think happens when you look around a room and experience love? There's no way love could be real if the world is just one giant fucking line of dominoes. Even if what you're saying is true, there's no way I could ever accept it because it leads to such absurd conclusions. But of course there's beauty in predetermined fate. Just think about it. Billions of years, exploding stars, evolution. 
just so we can sit here on the torturing ourselves with these mind games, wondering whether or not we have a choice? I think the answer is pretty clear now, don't you? Let's go outside. All right, fine. Try to enjoy yourself this time. But of course, 